Good afternoon, folks. It's 3.43 p.m. on November 26th, 2019. This is a Tuesday afternoon, and this is the Word for Today for November 26th, 2019. This is the Word for Today, Part 3, November 26th, 2019. Let's get right into the Word today. So on November 25th, 2019, at 10.18 p.m., <clears throat> I'm listening to these several worship tunes on, not on Spotify, but on YouTube. There's a Spotify channel that's also... Uh, YouTube uh, videos I'm listening to. It's a mix. I'll get to that in just a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. So on November 25th, 2019, at 10.18 p.m., I'm getting the word from the Lord. Again, all power, majesty, blessing, praise, sacrifice, and thanksgiving be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, our power, all power, majesty, blessing, praise, sacrifice, and thanksgiving be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is found in several books. Revelation 5.12, Revelation 7.12, Ephesians 3.21, Romans 11.36, Jude 1.25, 2 Peter 3.18, 1 Peter 5.11, Roman, Romans 16 and 27. Okay, in the description box below, I'll give you the link to the mix, to the to the worship mix. It's Mix Hosanna Hillsong Worship. So it's Mix Hosanna Hillsong Worship. This is the address. I'll put it in the description box. It's https colon slash slash y-u-o-t-u dot b-e slash lowercase n h lowercase n capital m lowercase e lowercase v capital x capital q lowercase u lowercase t capital uh, y in capital E. I believe that's a lowercase y or capital E. Okay, so that's a lowercase y, not a capital Y. Okay, let's go to the book of Revelations 5.12. Revelations 5 and 12. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Revelation chapter 7 verse 12. Revelation 7 and 12 saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Ephesians 3 and 21. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 21. To him be the glory of the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. The book of Romans chapter 11 verse 36. Romans 11 and 36. For of him, and through him, and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. Jude chapter 1 verse 25. Jude 1 and 25. To God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 18. Second Peter 3 and 18. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory, both now and forever. Amen. The book of First Peter, chapter 5, verse 11. First Peter 5 and 11. To Him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Romans, chapter 16, verse 27. Romans 16 and 27. To God alone wise be glory through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. Okay, folks, the next entry is at 10.19 p.m. on November 25th, 2019. That's 10.19 p.m. November 25th, 2019. This is next entry. It says, the word of the Lord came to me again, saying, The King of Kings and Lords, Lord of Lords was written on his vesture and his thigh. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords was written on his vesture and his thigh. This is found in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 16. Revelation 19 and 16. And he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. All right, at 10.20 p.m. on November 25th, 2019, the word of the Lord comes to me again. The sacrifice of praise be to the house of the Lord. That's a song, so I'll post a link to that, when I get a chance, I'll post a link to it so you can hear it for yourself. This is found in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, 
15 through 17. Hebrews 13, 15 through 17. Therefore by him let us continuously offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But do not forget to do good and to share, for with such sacrifices God is well pleased. Obey those who rule over you, and be submissive, for they watch out for your souls, as though he must give account. Let them do so with joy and not with grief, for that would be unprofitable for you. 10.21 p.m. on November 25, 2019. The word of the Lord comes to me again. Enter his gates of thanksgiving and his courts of praise with gladness in my heart. This is found in the book of Psalms, chapter 100, verses 4 and 5. Psalm 100, 4 and 5. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and to his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Okay, the next entry in my journal is 10.24 p.m., November 25th, 2019. The word of the Lord comes to me once again, saying, This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. That's another song. This is found in the book of Psalm, chapter 118, verse 24. Psalm 118 and 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Will we rejoice and be glad in it? 10.27 p.m. November 25th, 2019. Once again, the word of the Lord comes to me saying, The power of Christ compels you. This is found in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 14 through 21. 2 Corinthians 5, verses 14 through 21. For the love of Christ compels us because we judge thus, that if one died for all, then all died, and he died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is new creation, all things have passed away, Behold, all things have become new. Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry and reconciliation. reconciliation. That is, that God was in Christ, reconciliating the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has commanded us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. For he has made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Amen. Alrighty then, on, at uh, 10.28 p.m. on November 25th, 2019, the word of the Lord comes to me again, listening to these worship songs. Majestic and wondrous is his name. Majestic and wondrous is his name. This is found in Psalm 145 and 5. And First Chronicles 29.11. Let's go to the book of Psalm, chapter 145, verse 5. Psalm 145 and 5. I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty, and on your wondrous works. The book of First Chronicles, chapter 29, verse 11. First Chronicles, chapter 29, verse 11. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, and the glory, the victory, and the majesty, for all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Okay, folks, the last entry in my journal, last entry, at 10.29 p.m. 10.29 p.m. on November 25th, 2019. And all the saints say, Hallelujah and Amen. And all the saints say, Hallelujah and Amen. Okay, this is found in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verses 4 and 5. Revelation 19, 4 and 5. And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who sat on the throne, saying, Amen! Hallelujah! Then a voice came from the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, and those who fear him, both small and great. Okay, folks and family, that's it for the Word for Today, Part 3, November 26, 2019. That is the Word for Day, Part 3, November 26, 2019. All right, stay tuned for Part 4, which is up next after this video. Everyone have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. 
Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Get ready. This is your day of decision. So come to the Father, through the Son, to get saved. God bless you all and everything you do. God loves you, and so do I, very much. Take care of yourselves. I love you. Bye-bye for now.